Good day everyone, our topic for today is all about General Identity, Part 1. So we will talk about when the feature value is missing. So before we proceed, let's talk about the different terms in General Identity. General Identity, an entity where the length of payment interval is not the same as the length of interest compounding period. Ibig sabihin, ito yung panahon na ikaw ay nagbabayad pero hindi siya equal doon sa panahon na nagkakaroon ng interest yung binabayaran mo. So, halimbawa, monthly ka nagbabayad pero every quarter ka nagkakaroon or nagkakaroon ng interest yung binabayaran mo. Okay? So, general ordinary annuity, a general annuity in which the periodic payment is made at the end of the payment interval. So, example is monthly installment payment of a car, a lot, or house with an interest rate that is compounded annually. So, example daw is yung nagbabayad ka ng car. No? Na kung saan, every, every month kang naguhulog pero yearly siyang tumutubo. Or yearly yung tubo niya. Tapos, meron, pwede rin naman yung paying a debt semi-annually when the interest is compounded monthly naman. Yung nagbabayad ka every 6 months, pero every month, meron siyang patubo. Okay? So, now let's have this first topic, is uh, which is all about when future value is missing. So, when the future value is missing, we need to consider this formula. F equals R, quantity 1 plus J2 raised to n minus 1 over j2. So, as you can see, may j2 na tayo ngayon. So, later on, I will discuss this one. Where n is equal to mt, which is the total number of conversion period, and j equals i over m, which is the rate per conversion period. I already discussed this in our in our previous video, so pwede panoorin nyo na lang sila about simple annuity and compounded more than once a year. So, in here, the given are the following. We need the periodic payment, we need the nominal rate, we need frequency conversion, and we need time in years. We need this four in order to solve the N and J and in order to solve the future value. So, we have an acronym RIMT. R-I-M-T. Now, note the formulas for F and P are same as those in simple annuity. Sabi, the extra steps occurs in finding J. The given interest rate per period must be converted to the equivalent rate per payment interval. Pero dito, gumawa ako ng sarili kong formula. For the N, meron tayong M1 times T. For J1, we have I divide M2. Anong pinagkaiba ni M1 kay M2? Ang M1, ito yung binabayaran mo. Or time na binabayaran mo siya. Halimbawa, monthly ko siyang binabayaran. That's my, that's my way of paying my debt. Halimbawa. So, monthly siya and that is 12. Okay? Ang M2, ito yung compounded. Ang M2 ay ang compounded. So, makikita mo mamaya yung word na compounded at siya ang M2. Ang M1, siya yung uh, month or year time na binabayaran mo yung utang mo. For the J2, I have a formula, 1 plus J1, yung nakuha mo sa J1, raised to M1 divide M2, uh, I'm sorry, M2 divide M1 minus 1. So later on, you will understand it kapag in-apply na natin siya sa problem solving. Alright, now let's have the first problem. Chris started to deposit 1,000 monthly. I repeat, si Chris daw nagde-deposit na 1,000 monthly. In a fund that pays 6% compounded quarterly, how much will be in the fund after 15 years? Again, we need the given rent. So, write the problem, write the given, R is equal to 1,000, I is equal to 6% or 0 0.06, M1 is 12, M2 is 4. Paano nangyari yun? Si Chris daw ay nagbabayad monthly. Sabi ko kanina, ang M1, ito yung pagbabayad mo. So, M1 is 12. Ano yung compounded? Quarterly. So, M2 is 4. Ang M2 ay ang compounded. Ang time is equal to 15. Ang formula ng N natin na binigay ko kanina ay M1 times T, which means 12 times 15. That's equal to 180. 
Ang J1 natin is I over M2. That is 0 0.06 divide 4. And the answer is 0 0.015. For the J2, we have this formula. 1 plus J1 raised to M2 over M1. Just put the given to the formula. So we have 1 plus 0 0.015 raised to 4 divide 12 minus 1. Okay. On your calculator, uh, if you are using a cell phone, you can solve this. Uh, kahit cell phone lang ang gamit nyo. So please uh, listen to me and follow me. Sabayan nyo ako sa pagko-compute. First, itatype ko muna is open parenthesis. 1 plus... 0 0.015 close parenthesis raised to you will click the exponential so raised to uh, open parenthesis 4 divide 12 I repeat 4 divide 12 then close parenthesis click equals then minus 1 alright and you will get 0 0.00497521 okay as your final answer uh, I am as uh, in my class I always request my students that when you are writing G you will and uh, there are so many decimal places right and then you will run off or you will write only eight decimal places okay for this one Pinaka okay na yung eight decimal places for me okay now, after doing that, we can write down the new given, the R, N, and J2. These are, these are the things that we computed a while ago. The N is 180 and J2 is 0 0.0049752. Alright, this is the formula. Just put the given to the formula. Okay, on your calculator, pwedeng sabayan nyo ako. We have, first, ito muna yung gagawin natin. Okay, this first one. So, i-type natin sa calculator, open parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.0049-7521, close parenthesis, raised to 180, minus, close parenthesis muna, minus 1. And then click equals. Then divide your answer to 0 0.00497521. And multiply to 1000. Okay, so you will get 290,082.51. Round off your, your final answer into nearest hundreds or two decimal places now let's have the second example a teacher saves 5,000 every six months that is semi-annually in a bank that pays 0.25 percent compounded monthly how much will be her savings after 10 years so this is the problem the given the R is correct 5,000 I is 0 0.25 or 0 0.0025 for m1 we have two because we have only two six months in one year or semi-annually for m2 that is the compounded and that is equal to 12 and for t we have 10 first solve for the n which is m1 times t so we have 2 times 10 the answer is 20 for j1 i over M2 and that is 0 0.0025 divided 12 and you will get 0 0.0002083 okay uh, we write only one 3 because it is continuous so tuloy tuloy yung 3 an end an ending siya then for the J2 I plus J1 raised to M2 divide M1 minus 1 and substitute the given we have this one now, uh, 12 divided by 2 is already 6, as we all know. Okay? Pero kahit hindi, hindi mo na siya i-divide muna, pwede rin naman. Okay, so sabayan nyo ako sa pagko-compute. So first, click 1, uh, open parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.000 to 
2083, close parenthesis, raised to 12, divide 2, then close parenthesis. Click equals. After clicking equals, minus 1, and then click equals again. Your answer will be 0.00012, 50, 62, Okay, so that will be your answer for this particular uh, problem for J2. Now, like our new given, we have 5,020, J2 is 0 0.00125063. Okay, now let's solve this problem and we will have this one. Alright, now on your calculator, first solve this first uh, in the numerator, the numbers in the numerator. So we have open parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.00125063. 0 0 Close parenthesis, raise to, click raise to 20. Raise to 20, okay minus 1 and divide your answer to 0 0.00125063 and multiply your answer to 5,000 pesos na binabayanan ni teacher every 6 months and you will get 101,197.06. Round off your answer to the nearest hundreds. So that's all about the part one of the general annuity, which is all about when the future value is missing. So once again, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the notification buttons for more updates. Bye!